When I was teaching on the southwest side of Chicago, we had a desperate need to acquire more instruments. Because we didn't have enough instruments, I would have three or four kids each sharing one violin. I knew that I was opposed to selling candy in school, so I needed to look for an alternative. Building the Donors Choose site was extremely intuitive. I had a site up and running the same day that I discovered DonorsChoose.org. The site uses a point system. If you complete your projects on time and be sure to thank your donors, you earn more points to create new projects. When I had started, there was only the option for teacher-led projects. Now, students can even lead their own classroom fundraisers. When you create a project, you need to tell your donors a little about the students you are serving. I only used Woodwind and Brasswind for my projects, but there are many other options for teachers who teach other subjects. This is the fun part, when I actually got to go shopping for my classroom. If you are a teacher who is starting Donors Choose for the first time, I would advise to be conservative on your first project. If you are unable to complete a project, all the money you fundraise will be redistributed to somebody else's classroom. This is the final step of completing a project. Take your time writing this. Look at what other teachers have done. This will be featured on the main page of your website, so you want to make sure it is very appealing to future donors. This was my last successful project when I asked for over $1,000 to purchase a new string base for our classroom. In order to be successful on Donors Choose, I had to rely on my students. I needed them to post about the project on their Facebook, on their Twitter, I needed them to email their family and friends and just spread the word. I worked at Curie for six years, and during my time there, we completed 12 successful projects. We gained 117 supporters. Many of them were family and friends of myself and my students, but a good chunk of them were anonymous donors who had just found our site and were inspired by our story. The average amount of each donation was about $20, but sometimes people would actually donate $500 or more. Within six years, we were able to raise enough money to purchase six violins, four violas, one cello, one bass, ten bows, a bunch of shoulder rests and rock stops, and new strings for the class. Donors choose was an incredible resource during my time at Curie. I highly recommend that you take advantage of DonorsChoose.org and create your own site to fundraise for your students.